How do? My name is Andrew Hancock and I am a VMware technical architect from Yorkshire in the United Kingdom. I have worked with VMware since their birth in 1998. So that's been a quarter of a century now. I've been working with the VMware product catalog. Some of my close friends say, if you cut Andy in half, it reads VMware like a stick of rock from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I have now written over 130 articles and recorded over 30 hours of VMware vSphere 7 and 8 videos for Experts Exchange and received 40 Expert Exchange awards over the last 11 years working with the Expert Exchange community. I am currently the overall number one point earner in the Hall of Fame. I am honoured to have been accepted into the VMware vExpert program since 2011 and I'm currently a VMware vExpert Pro for the last four years. Welcome to Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Okay, just a very quick introduction to the next video. Um, this video was recorded um, at the end of 2023, just before Christmas. And unfortunately, um, as explained in the video, it wasn't in time by the time that uh, Nakivo support came back to me. Uh, however, they did, come back to, they did come back to me very, very quickly before Christmas. I think it was Christmas Eve. Um, and the video actually really shows you how to update um, a version of Nakivo to the latest version of Nakivo uh, backup and replication that at the time didn't actually support 8.0 U2. Um, so that's all I wanted to say. So I'm just going to put this piece at the beginning of that video um, and uh, you'll understand. And I'll put the original uh, video in the description as well so that you can actually basically uh, watch both of them and they'll make perfect sense. Anyway, all the best and goodbye. And welcome back to another Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Now, if you've been following this series of videos, and if you've been following the last couple of videos that I did, which were on uh, how to install and configure BDR Suite by Venbu uh, to back up and restore a virtual machine, and then I did another video which was how to configure and install uh, Nakivo backup and replication. Uh, again, to install and configure and back up and restore a virtual machine. But there was one um, issue that we came across that I couldn't actually, inst I could install the application um, 10.8 on our NAS, our Synology NAS, which is running DSM-7. Um, but it couldn't actually basically back up from or understand VMware VC vCenter Server 8.0 U2 because it only had support for 8.01. Now, those nice people uh, at uh, Nakivo uh, came back to me very, very quickly, so my thanks for them. Unfortunately, it was after the cutoff that I needed to basically encode, transcode, re-encode, upload, and get published at Experts Exchange. Um, so you won't see this video until 2024. Um, but because it's fresh in my head now, I thought I'll capture this and show you how to actually basically update um, on Synology NAS. So exactly what I did be, is download the package from the App Store, but it would look like the updated version, which was supposedly supposed to be verified, is not on the App Store. So I don't know whether or not that it's just taking Synology a long time to do that. Um, I don't know. I have actually sort of kind of pushed back and suggested to um, Nakivo really maybe to update their um, web article link to sort of come and turn around and say well maybe temporarily do this. So the first thing we've got to do is actually basically stop the current application running on the Nakivo server and then we need to SSH to the, the NAS itself. Uh, now you will you need to enable SSH on the NAS um, if it's not running. We will then need to basically get ourselves root privileges. So it now says root at NAS rather than just my username. So we then need to basically log on to the volume where uh, the Nakivo application is. Uh, then we need to download an installation script and I'll, um, I'll put this link and I'll put these, these instructions actually in the description of the video. So 
that's going to download the update sh script um, we're then going to need to chmod it this is obviously quite a large application or it's probably 700 meg i think because i seem to recall that the the last version that i downloaded i think was about 700 meg so it shouldn't take very long um, but again my thanks for uh, vico support on the last day before christmas um coming back to me so quick um with a knowledge base article uh, i did actually search their site and i did actually search the forums and i found absolutely nothing um so that's downloaded so i'm going to just mod it there we go and i'm going to run the updater and we'll see what happens um it's either going to blow up or it's going to work um so it's verifying you stored it's extracting uh nakivo backup and replication um yeah okay i'm just gonna read all the license agreement and say uh yes um okay so it's going to update the director it's updating the transporter um it's already found the v10.8073174 um, which was installed um so it's going to okay so it's all happening very quickly so it's updating updating stopping installing extensions starting the transporter service um it's installed successfully now it's starting the director service which was updated as well um so ah okay i just saw i was sort of kind of looking around the screen and i just saw it change and flash here and it now says 10101786657 7012 so this is obviously basically being updated um okay so it tells me that it's been updated successfully so i can basically click run um, i'm finished with the ssh shell so i'll click exit exit again and uh, i can log out okay and now i can click open And hopefully we shouldn't really see a, a great deal of changes. Um, and we'll have a little look and see whether or not that we can now start backing up from our vCenter server 8A, so it's not 8A, 8.0U2.